everybody, what's going on? My name is Elliot, and welcome to episode 2 of Line Dance Video Blogs. Uh, this, I'm, I'm gonna cover uh, dress code, and uh, just so you know, uh, the magician in me really wanted to do something, and unfortunately I don't have access to knowing how to do it. And uh, it's there's this uh, magic trick thing, a magic effect thing, uh, called Dress Code by Kaylin Morelli. Uh, and if you wanted to see uh, this completely missed opportunity because I don't know how to do it, uh, click here. It's Kaylin Morelli doing Dress Code. And I it would have been great, right? Like, I could have done the whole cool thing. Uh, but anyway. Uh, so, Dress Code. I don't feel like I can talk to girls about what to wear or what not to wear. And the only thing that I will say, however, uh, the, the, the person who can say it best, because it's not me, I could say it, but uh, I'd rather give credit to the owner, uh, Dave Chappelle, and he said it best uh, when he made this uh, comedy special joke thing. Girls, like, literally, the only thing that I, I really want to say to you is to... Actually, I want to say two things. Two things? Three things. I want to say three things. Uh, first off, there's only three things that you need to carry. Uh, and that's that's what I call the essentials of what, what you need. And the only reason why I know this is because I used to go to In Cahoots with a lot of different girls. Uh, sound, that makes me sound like a whore, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> I used to go to In Cahoots with a lot of different girls that I ha used to have a f as friends. And uh, they they used to carry three things. Uh, it was a credit card, uh, the their ID to get in, and their car keys. Uh, sometimes they didn't even carry a phone, and that's really all you need to carry. Uh, it's, yeah, uh, car keys, uh, your ID, and a credit card to buy drinks. But once you get good, you probably don't even need a credit card. You'll just have guys buying you drinks. Uh, second thing is, uh, based on dress code, the, the yeah, it's a, a list of three things where each thing in my, th in, in my list, each thing in my list has three things. Uh, these are the three things not to wear. Uh, because, it, or not to take into Incoots, because, or, I, or not even Incoots, did, did I say Incoots before? I don't know. Uh, these are the three things that you should not be taking into a country bar. Anywhere you go, it automatically po pinpoints you as a newbie. Uh, you've never been to a country bar before. Uh, it, it just, there's a lot of guys that prey on new people, and this just automatically just makes you a red flag target uh, for people like that. And... The three things are a jacket, or some kind of overcoat, or you, you won't be needing any of that. Uh, even if you're not planning on dancing, uh, you will not ever need a jacket, because anywhere you go is pretty hot, um, and you should always be wanting to dance anyway, uh, something. You're going to a dance club, you know, you should be, you should be wanting to dance. So don't bring a jacket. Uh, do not bring a purse. Uh, it, it, it really messes with two-stepping. Like it, it, uh, a lot of girls think that they can carry their purse on the dance floor uh, when they're two-stepping with somebody, and you can't do it uh, because as soon as a guy starts spinning you, you basically start hitting the guy multiple times over and over, and it's definitely happened to me. You just don't do it. Uh, and the third thing is do not wear high heels or sandals. Uh, it just automatically pinpoints you, one, as a person who's never been to a country bar, because why are you wearing, like, the least danciest shoes to dance with? Uh, and it's just, you walk really awkwardly, it's just, it's horrible for everybody involved. Uh, guys, because I have a little bit more experience with this, uh, I get that guys, you guys like to wear the uh, the black shirt, the black t-shirt with the black hat, with the boots, and to, to, to guys and girls, everybody involved, uh, the thing about going to, going to a country bar, there's an image, and I get that, uh, there's an image, and, and I, I didn't even actually understand this idea, until this one event happened to me. Uh, I was... Uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm Asian. And, uh, 
I, I don't notice that sometimes, or I forget, uh, because I'm like, I feel like I, I, I try to be the least Asian person you will ever know. Uh, all of my Asian friends are like ashamed of me for not being Asian and uh, for not doing Asian things and, you know, whatnot. Uh, but I, I, I don't try to be Asian. I don't have the accent. I mean, I can do the accent, but uh, uh, I, I, I'm not good at math. I, I think I'm a reasonably good driver. Like, uh, but I, I mean, like, I just kind of forget that I'm Asian sometimes in the sense that I go to a country bar and I, I, and I dance really well there. And... There was this one moment that I had, and I was I was outside, and I was trying to teach a couple of, a group of my friends uh, this line dance, and this older white gentleman comes out, and he says, "Wow, only in America will you ever see an Asian guy teaching a bunch of white people how to dance." So, the moral of my story right now is that, along with the idea of dress code, you will always be judged. Uh, and it sounds terrible to say, but I'm just, I just want to say it how it is, and with my experience, and just in, in life, you will always be judged uh, based on how you look. Uh, just look at it this way. If you judge other people based on how they look, why can't they judge you? Like, when you go to Hot Topic, if the person that's helping you isn't wearing, it doesn't have uh, a tattoo, uh, a lip piercing, or, uh, or black makeup, don't you think that's weird? Like, if they look like they, I don't know, uh, like if they, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm just saying, you get, you get what I mean. Uh, as sad as it is, you will always be judged by people. That's basically how you meet people. Uh, you, you look at them first, and you look at what they're wearing, and you judge them based on that. And it, you could, you know, it could be completely opposite. They could have completely different, be a completely different person. And this happens to people all the time. Uh, I, I see my friends, it happens to my friends all the time. They will meet somebody who has the cowboy look. And because they're going to a country bar and, you know, like, you see the, these people with the cowboy look, uh, because they understand, see, it's like this, like, if I understand this and I think that they understand this, then, you know, like, I'm going to counter that idea with this counter. And this whole idea of image, there's this whole idea of image. And if you go to a country bar looking for that country kind of person, a lot of the time people are going to fool you because they know that that's what you're looking for. Your image might get you in the door, but keeping people there inside, that's going to be your personality and who you are actually, as opposed to what you decide to show. So if what you decide to show is who you are, well then, finding people should be a lot easier. So I'm not here to tell you what you should wear, what you shouldn't wear. I'm not trying to say don't wear, like, jeans and a black shirt and a cowboy hat and boots and, you know, do the whole country belt thing and, you know, I'm not saying don't do that. If that is your style and if that is who you are, then do it and rock it. Uh, and if it's not, uh, because I, I, that's not me, and that was never me, uh, I, I never, I was always a hip-hop dancer, uh, just because I'm going to a country bar, it's a lot of people's misconception, that just because they're going to a country bar, they feel like they have to wear country stuff, like it's dress-up, and I'm just here to tell you that if you're planning on dancing, uh, you should probably wear something that you're comfortable dancing in. Uh, there's so many of my friends that, that wear boots that hurt their feet, and they do it because that's the thing to do, and it's not the thing to do. Uh, what should be first as the thing to do is to be who you are inside, and to wear something that you're comfortable in. And just fuck everybody else, you know? Like, they... 
if they're going to like you, they're going to like you for who you are and not what you think that they're going to like. Uh, so that's, that's just, that's my two cents on dress code. Uh, just be, and you'll hear me say this multiple times throughout this uh, video, video blog, line dance video blog series, but I just want to be the one to tell you that it's okay being who you, that it's okay for you to be who you are. And as long as you're confident in that, that should be enough. And that is enough. I'll see you guys in episode three.